is Monique from Vegan Living 24-7. I thought today I would do a bit of a what's in my freezer video. I thought maybe that would be interesting. Okay, so here it all is. And then plus I also have a smaller freezer that's on top of the fridge that um, has some more stuff in it. Okay, so I've kind of sectioned it off somewhat. Um, this is some stuff that like I've like made and pre me or Jeff have pre-made and that sort of thing and then froze. And then some of this is just like a bunch of fake meats and all that good stuff. So I've never actually tried this. I think I got this from Ori. It's like a vegan, vegetarian, fake meat kind of store. Um, yeah, either that or Loma House, which is a restaurant. And then the same with these. I haven't tried yet either. Sounded, they looked interesting and sounded good. And same with these, have not tried. I do believe that these are actually Gardein um, beefless strips just in a larger package. I got this from the bookmobile. That it's a vegan bookmobile. Well, it's, it's a bookmobile that like has vegan and vegetarian fake meats and stuff like that that tours across Alberta. And the same with these corn dogs. I've tried these actually and they're actually quite good. Jeff even liked them too. Um, I think he said the texture is a little soft, but he said it was pretty good. And then these Happy Veggie World products are actually quite good. I haven't tried them all yet. Um, like I haven't tried these sausage. I've heard from someone that actually has like a meat, like a pork loving boyfriend that he actually likes these. So that's cool. Yeah, there's like so many different kinds of brands and uh, kind of flavors with this brand. But the thing is with these is that um, it doesn't have any cooking instructions on any of these. So you kind of just gotta like try and figure it out, you know? I don't know, you, like you can put it, I, I can't remember if these come with a sauce. I think they do. So you could like soak it up in the sauce. I usually either fry it or else put it in the oven, whichever I feel like doing. So just cook it the way you would normally cook like any fish meats, I guess. And if you're transitioning to vegan, then cook it the way you would cook a meat product. And for those of you that are new to veganism, this is vegan. This brand, Italiano is vegan. Either. I don't want to say it is for sure, just in case there's one that's not, but well, for the most part, like most breads, like brand name breads are vegan. It's just usually the um, bakery stuff that isn't. And it's usually got milk or egg added. Okay, so this is the only thing from Happy Veggie World so far that I've tried that I don't actually like. It's kind of like a dried cardboardy thingy. I don't know, I, maybe I overcooked it. I might have to try it again without like cooking it for so long. Um, yeah, I was quite disappointed that I had to add some more seasoning to it because I didn't really enjoy it that much. The texture was really weird. I much prefer Eve's bacon. This is delicious. I think this is the only one from this brand that is vegan. It says so very obviously like right there, 100% vegan. Um, some of the other products is like vegetarian. Um, I got this from the bookmobile as well. I'll link, leave a link down below about the bookmobile just because if you do live in Alberta, like it is great to check them out. They do have different um, price ranges, so sometimes things can be a little bit pricey, but like if you're really wanting to splurge on a few things and just try different things, like this, this is one of the items I would recommend, yes. And yeah, I have a lot of these Coconut Bliss thingies, and I think this is from Da Vinci Gelato, um, which is another place in Edmonton that's quite good, but as you can see, it's kind of old. Yeah, anyways, I didn't really realize that was in the freezer. This is all from Martina's Vegan House, and this is actually what I was wanting to do the mukbang with, um, but I definitely will need to uh, put this out, like have it sit out like overnight before I like, to help it defrost before I like start to eat it, you know? But yeah, these look so good, look at them. So she's such a sweet lady, and I'm really excited to like try these for you guys on camera, yeah. You can find her at the farmer's market. All right, so Gardein. Gardein is a great brand. If you're new to being vegan, like, and if you ever see Gardein products, check them out. I do not like the beefless tips though. I think they're too soggy and like bleh. Frozen berries. There's some other frozen blueberries. Uh, frozen strawberries. There's a casserole that I had made at some point. Here's four cups of cherries. That's from Jeff's mom. Tofu. Oh yeah, it's always good to have like tofu in the freezer. Just you know, I don't know. Jeff likes to pull it out. It takes a few days to actually like um, de thaw. I've heard of other people's methods. I think like 
Maybe someone said to boil it. I don't know. How do you like unfreeze, defreeze, defrost, whatever the right word is, tofu um, quickly? And I think this is rhubarb from Jeff's mom as well. And this is like a chili. Yeah, chili. Another chili. Here's some green lentils. I thought the green lentils were quite disgusting, so I put them in the, the freezer because I want to like find a better recipe. Here's some more garden items. I don't think I showed off these guys. These cutlets are so good. Okay, Jeff isn't vegan as I keep saying. I'm pretty sure I said that already in this video. Um, but he really, really likes these, and he what he did is he like just toasted some buns in the oven, and then he put this in it, and then put veggies with. Uh, black pepper. I've also heard that if you put a bit of onion powder in it, then it tastes like a McVegan sauce. But yeah, basically he thought that this tasted like the chicken McVegan wrap thingy. Like he just put it in a wrap with like lettuce and like those items. So anyways, yeah, he was actually quite amazed at how much... No wait, was it a wrap? It was either a wrap or like in the buns. I think we put it in the buns for the burger and then... <laughs> sorry you guys. And then I think another day we might have done like the wraps. Beyond Meat, that's another good um, brand. Some potatoes, we just made up into like french fries. What is this? This is veggie and tofu stir fry. Uh, this is something from Walmart. Look, I haven't tried too much of this brand yet because I just found out that they have vegan products. This is something that both Jeff and I quite liked. Uh, this is a veggie thingy that I think I got from Superstore that I'm not too fond of and I think it's because it's already got like the seasoning and the oils already on it and I just wasn't really into it like it just was too oily for me I think and here is some taro cake I'm pretty sure yeah I'm pretty sure I checked their ingredients before I started filming this is vegan as well we have not tried this yet but taro cake is quite yummy if that's your thing um, some more cutlets chicken strips these are actually quite tasty quite yummy yes uh, meatless meatballs. I haven't actually tried the meatballs yet. Beefless strips. I like these. Remember, do not get the beefless cube things. <laughs> Unless you like soggy things. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then I think I froze this cheese quite a while ago when uh, when we were about to go out of the country and I didn't want it to go bad. Or maybe my mom gave it to me. I don't remember. My mom's lactose intolerant and I think she might not have been a huge fan of these. I don't quite remember. So yeah, that's the haul from like my freezer, from the big one, and I will now move on to the smaller freezer. The dumplings, you can get these from Superstore, they're actually quite good. Um, and then they also have like spring rolls in there too that are vegetable that are actually pretty good too. And this was the only non-vegan thing that was in that freezer, it's actually vegetarian, it still, include, it still has milk ingredients, so just because something says it's lactose free, a lot of times actually if it does say lactose free or like casein free or whey free or something like that or just dairy free, it's good to check the ingredients because a lot of times then it won't actually be vegan, it'll just be missing that one ingredient. So yeah, good to know that. I don't think I ate any of this, I think Jeff bought, bought it thinking it was vegan and then he ended up eating most of it and then... There's like one slice in here, so it's, he put it back in the freezer. Also, here are some samosas from Mini Kitchen, which is another local place here in the city. Their samosas are really delicious, and so is their chutney. That's what this is called. Yum, yum, yum. I definitely recommend this company out to people to try out their vegan selection. It's not all vegan, unfortunately. Maybe someday they will... Oh, stepping on stove. <laughs> uh, maybe someday they'll go all vegan, but... I think one of the owners is actually trying out veganism, so I guess we'll see. Okay, and now here is the haul from the smaller freezer. Ta-da! Uh, so yeah, I do believe this is a veggie patty. Probably from Eve's. I don't know why it's in this baggie. <laughs> this is some leftover grapefruit pulp, so I basically had like blunted up a grapefruit or something like that in a uh, juicer. I think Jeff must have done that because I actually haven't used our juicer yet. This would be just some ground round. I do believe it's also from Eve's. Some different types of breads. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Some naan bread. And I did make sure to check these to make sure they were vegan before I showed them off because I didn't want to be like, ta-da, go check this out. And then people are like mad at me or something. 
<laughs> so this is like a frozen, what are these? Cherries? Yeah, so this would be from Jeff's mom. They're quite bitter, so we haven't actually used a whole lot of them yet. Uh, these are frozen raspberries, blueberries, what is this? Oh, here's my frozen banana, look how brown that is. <laughs> I used to have like so much more frozen bananas, but um, I, I need to go buy some more bananas and freeze them. I haven't actually tried this one yet. I have tried this brand, Soul Cuisine. I don't know if it's pronounced Soul Cuisine or if it's S-O-L. <laughs> S-O-L. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay. Or, yeah, anyways. They're actually a pretty good brand. Uh, I would recommend trying them out. I also do like Eve's Burgers, too. I haven't... Eve's is actually a pretty decent, like, brand. Like, the only thing I haven't fully liked from them is their hot dogs. And I just think that, just in general, I don't really like veggie hot dogs that much. I just find them to be a little bit too soft in texture. If anyone's watched my camping video, though, they will have seen that I like to burn my hot dogs. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was alright, but whatever. Anyways, this, these are some veggie nuggets, so I haven't tried these yet, but I'm really excited to try these. I keep, like, thinking about them all week, actually, to be honest. Um, and then we have, like, four blocks of tofu. Tofu, this is the kind we usually always get. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, I already showed you the banana. Some more fruit. Yeah, and, uh, this has been in the freezer for a while. What is your date? I don't know, but it's probably bad by now. This uh, brand is, you know, it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty decent. This is actually not vegan. Um, we had bought this for Christmas, I think last year, and we thought it was vegan. I don't remember, is there honey in it? What makes this not brew vegan? I don't know, I think Jeff bought it and he thought it was a vegan one. Or maybe I bought it from Superstore. And like, I was going to return it, but then I was like, Wait, no, because they'll just throw it out, I think, when you, like, try to return food products to a store. So, you know, Jeff, or someone can make this, and I just won't eat it, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know where the ingredients are, but it is. Uh, some more chocolate. Well, I don't know if, I don't think this is chocolate. Some more ice cream from Da Vinci Gelato, a local place in the city. Um, these are, like, packets from some Gardein turkey cutlets, I think. I think Jeff ended up using... Some other sauce. Maybe like a gravy that he had made. Speaking of gravy that he had made, here is some. This is from like January something 2016. Uh, so this uh, this might be from like the first vegan gravy that he made, which is actually really, really tasty. And he has lost the recipe, unfortunately, since then. And then this sauce. I don't know why it's like kind of soft, like it was in the freezer. But Macadamia nuts. I don't know why Jeff decided to freeze these, but I guess maybe to keep them a bit longer. I don't know. Fig leaf foods. Woohoo! Shout out to Crystal. Um, she made these cute boxes for Christmas. Uh, look. Mm, they are so yummy. She... And they're so beautiful too. I, okay, I, I need to like show you a little bit closer up. Here they are. Look how pretty. Like she spends so much time and like so much effort and work on her products. You should definitely check out her YouTube channel actually. It's called Raw Revive. So she actually has Raw Revive and then she also does Fig Leaf Foods. Um, I think she might be closing down one of them. I'm not too sure. And, and then just like focusing more on like YouTubing because YouTubing is new for her. But they're so tasty you guys. This is Jeff's thing. She hasn't tried any of them yet but I've tried stuff for my box. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll try one right now. Okay, I'm going to try the white chocolate peppermint. Mm, I can smell the peppermint. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. I've had some raw chocolatey things where you could just taste the dates too much in it. But this is so good. It still tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Which I guess it just depends on the recipe and stuff. Because, like, you can get raw cacao powder. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you guys some ideas of things that you can buy. And also for people that are new to veganism or just, like, not even vegan but are just watching this video. Hopefully it allowed you to see that there's a lot of diversity. Like, there's, like, so many different options out there for vegans to eat. And a lot of them are actually really delicious. Yes, some things might not taste exactly like the real meat version of things but in the end all I really care about is if it tastes good like and that it didn't come from an animal like it doesn't really matter to me if everything's completely spot on I don't really care it's actually a little bit better to be honest the more vegan like the the longer you've been vegan um it's actually better for it to not be so exact 
um because I had like a chicken broth once and like from Mr. Noodles like the chicken flavored one and it was a little like too chicken flavored like bleh. it was really gross so now I just stick to like the vegetable one and um yeah so sometimes it's actually better when it's not 100% spot on for me anyways and so for any of the local vegan products that I was showing or talking about I'll make sure to leave that like a link to them in the description box below so you can check those out. If you have any questions about the stuff that I had shown please just leave the, it in the comments section and as well I would love to like hear about some of your favorite vegan brands um, and let me know what country you're from and maybe when I visit there then I can try those out because I am like I like to eat a lot of like homemade stuff like I don't always have to eat fake meats I just like to experiment with them because it's kind of fun and why not if the options are there but um yeah I also do like cook uh homemade like curries and chilies and stuff like that and I don't really I don't usually add like fake meats to those kind of things so I just like variety and yeah please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you would like to see me do like uh, what's in my fridge or what's in my pantry kind of thing or if you would like to see me do another one of these freezer things like a few months from now like if you if you did enjoy it I know it's kind of a long video because as I was recording I was realizing how long it was how much stuff I didn't realize I had so much stuff in my freezer okay like this was actually a really good video for me to do because I didn't realize that I had a lot of those things so I'm like oh cool I should probably eat this sometime before it like gets too freezer burnt kind of thing so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I am going to stop talking right now because I feel like I am rambling and I, I have no idea if anyone has even gotten this far if you have gotten this far then comment Bob the Minion. I love this guy, he's cute. <laughs> if, you, if you have actually gotten this far, then leave that in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Veg, peace and love. Till next time, guys.